And which are you? You're hot. You'll be cold. That's what the remote controls for. Do, 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 do. teaching. So if you're five five in the minors, you show the diamonds first. Um, normally, if you had six card clubs, you wouldn't be opening one diamond. So using the complex system, um, with a few small exceptions, uh, particularly relay beta we treat the two club rebid by opener as a positive response to one no trump uh, to one club rather and with all of the paraphernalia that that entails
although this looks constrained, uh, it's fairly common sense, to be honest. Um, if you bid two clubs to start with, and there's a range beater, and responder ends up handing over the captaincy, those rebids pretty much are common sense. Um, three clubs is going to be effectively denying another four card suit and showing six card clubs which must be weak clubs um, three diamonds will be uh, two two four five You might also bid three diamonds, I guess, with three one four five or one three four five. Three hearts and three spades show four card majors and weak clubs. And three no trumps is Emmy semi balanced town with six card clubs. Or um, three six or four six in the minors. But the 2236 would have to be weak six card clubs. As I've said there, with 3145 or 1345, you can either bid three clubs, um, and which gives Responder the space to explore for a fit somewhere else. Um, you could bid three diamonds but really better if you bid three clubs but note that with four six in the minors you tend to bid three no trumps rather than three clubs any questions so far on the two club rebid? The reason I prefer you to bid three clubs with 3145 or 1345 is that if you bid three diamonds, normally Open knows there's no point showing a five card major um, because you won't have a three card fit for either of them. That's the point. Okay, moving on. Well, in a minute. So one diamond, one no trump, two diamonds is exactly the same, essentially. We treat it like a two diamond positive um, response to uh, one club. But again, the two heart rebid by responder is range beta rather than normal beta um, with that extra step for lower range hands. So again, if we if we get a range beater, and uh, responder ends up handing over the captaincy, um, there's only one sequence where that's possible. Uh, then over the two no trump rebid, 
three clubs is both minors, 5-4 or 5-5. Five, five. Three diamonds is six card diamonds. Three hearts and three spades are both four card majors. And three no trumps is any semi-balanced hand. That pretty much covers all of the possibilities. Okay, any questions on one diamond, one no trump, two diamonds? Again, very similar to the two club rebid. Just bear with me a minute. You're all very quiet tonight. So the two heart rebid is any four 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 one, and the usual arrangement supply basically. Um, two spades is a relay, and over to the two spade. Two no trumps, three clubs, three diamonds, and three hearts are all bidding the suit below. Uh, Responder Singleton. Um, Eater asks are the normal way that we proceed. Uh, Eater asks below game level, that is. Um, the only time that an Eater ask isn't easy is when it's in hearts. And uh, opener's got a spade singleton because the eater ask will be at game level. Any other time it will be below. So because we're um, because we're already in a game forcing situation, if responder makes an E to ask, then it's normal beta, normal relay beta afterwards. But if responder makes an immediate beta in the singleton suit then it's a range beta the difference with that is that because we haven't agreed a suit yet over the response to the range beta responder has to set the final contract There's no possibility of epsilons or anything else. That's why ETA, an immediate ETA below game level, is the normal way to proceed. Any questions on 4441 hand types for opener? Okay. Okay, so one no trump, one down, one no trump, two spades is any four, four, three, two shape hand. Obviously, it's going to be of the wrong range for the opening no trump. Uh, otherwise, we'd have opened one no trump rather than one diamond. So over the two spade rebid, two no trump effectively is handing over the captaincy or baron or whatever you want to call it. It's just asking for, for four card suits upwards. Um, 
and we proceed naturally until three no trump uh, again opener won't normally go past three no trump unless we've got a, a major suit fit uh, Responder obviously can go past three no trump because they're unlimited. Uh, can go past three no trump um, for a minor suit as well as a major suit fit. If responder doesn't bid two no trumps and bids immediately at the three level, then that's just an iota ask. Um, if it gets a positive response, we're in an asking bid sequence. Any questions on the two spade rebid? These are all very, very simple, really, because um, they're drawing on lessons that we've already covered elsewhere. And lastly, the two no trump rebid are all four three 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 shape hands. Um, three clubs is simply asking opener to rebid their four card suit, uh, and three no trump shows a club suit. Alternatively, if if responder doesn't feel like going that route if they've got a five or a six card suit for example um, all the other bids of three diamonds three hearts three spades and four clubs are all zeta um, because response uh, opener is known to have three card support for anything so we don't particularly if you've got a strong uh, five card major for example um, you can just go ahead and bid it and it's it's zeta so it sets the suit as trumps and asks for controls all in one go rather than wasting time uh, asking how good their support is okay any questions on one diamond one no trump sequences I did say it was a lot simpler than one die and one spade. It's hugely simpler. I'm not going to waste time on the alpha sequences um, of uh, one diamond, two clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, and two spades. Um, because we've effectively dealt with all of that in previous lessons on asking bids. Anybody got any questions on what I've covered tonight? If not, we'll just practice some hands. Four victims, please. Get in there. Thank you, Roger. Three more. Thank you, Esther. Extremely complex victims, yes. Come on, Sanya, get in there. Just one more. <laughs> Mehmet, Maisie, come on, get in. Not this hand, Clement. 
and wait till I got four seated. No, Clement, don't bid this. Don't bother with this hand. This is a one spade opener. Can I have a west, please? I am. Please don't make me sit and play these hands because it's very boring for me. I can see all 52 cards, and I set the hands. Ah, oh, gold. Thank you, Sanya. I'll help you if you need it. <laughs> Not on this hand, you won't. Don't forget to alert everybody, by the way. So one no trump is 14 plus any shape. And you can literally be any shape. It's your decision as responder. It's your decision as to whether to bid one no trump or to take control of the auction with an alpha ask. Okay, I'll I'll put it on. Just give me a second. Okay, so north is 4432, and of course we'll have 13 to 15 points, otherwise they'd have opened one no trump with 10 to 12. So South now will normally ask in their five card suit, which is a an iota ask.
So this is Iota Clement. He hasn't shown dead balance. Two spades, Sanya, shows 4-4-3-2. Four, four, so he may or may not have three card or better support for hearts here. It's the two no trump rebid that shows a dead balanced hand. Okay. just like we use iota after one club one spade oh right um because he can't have a singleton he's shown 4432 shape no we use theta when it's possible, if it's, well, rather, we use iota when it's impossible for responder or for, for teller to have a singleton. When he's shown 4432, he can't have a singleton or void, and therefore we use iota. That's the whole point. No questions, no questions are stupid, Sanya. If it's something you weren't sure of, then it clearly needed sorting out. So South knows that's going to be the king. Right, we'll play this one out. Well, I'll explain afterwards why you shouldn't have, Roger.
think that's almost that's one of two leads that's going to make this contract easy <laughs> Well done, Roger. Okay, reason not to bid six hearts is this. The, uh, the IOTA response showed that you were missing a heart honor. Um, North IOTA, uh, IOTA response showed either two top honors, Doubleton, or three to one top honor so you've got a probable or a possible heart loser and once the four spade bid gets anything other than a four no trump response you know that almost certainly uh, you've got a spade loser so really you can't afford to be whatever else is the case you're off a spade trick and possibly a heart trick you can get the hearts but you've got to lead the jack of hearts to do it and pin the ten and that's not something you'd normally do okay Roger and, and really you can work all that out from the four club bid and the five diamond response. You know that you've got two possible losers here. <laughs> anyway, well played. Unlucky lead, Sanya. Um, I wouldn't normally lead uh, a trump against a slam. Hi, guys. Name is around. Right, next hand. They're all asleep. Oh no, Sanya's there. Roger is. He's there, but he can't spell. Who? Roger. Who's <laughs> Sanya, Roger, Cheryl, Charlene. Who's Peed? Oh, and Clement. There's two of them can't spell your name, but... Oh, and Esther. God, they're all saying hello. Have a good game. Oh, uh, they're practising. They're under the... They're on the rack. Don't let Ollie bother you! <laughs> hey, I... Yeah, no, almost certainly. No, they can hear it. Oh. More likely to type fiercely, Sanya. <laughs> okay, Sanya, you've got two options here. You can either use Alpha. Um, which would be a two level bid of your suit or you can bid one no trump and find out by other means what partner has well you decide which way you want to go I'm not going to tell you which is right and indeed there isn't really a right and wrong way it's a matter of whether you want to take control of the auction or not
Okay, Clement, thank you. Esther's gone into a trance. To no Trump, Esther. Although, ah, I suppose it's reasonable. No, two no trumps is right, Esther. Don't undo. Okay, so here we've got the Zeta having gone the one no trump route uh, Sanya is now setting the trump suit as heart so if she does this you can't find out about trump solidity as it happens Sanya couldn't care less um, so this is just Zeta So four controls with east. Well, it's a good good reasoning, Sanya. I mean, you don't know. It depends on on what east is going to rebid. To be honest, um, two no trumps is the absolute ideal response for you um, but if they would rebid you know two diamonds now you're a little bit less well placed but you've still got you know over one diamond one no trump two diamonds you've still got two no trumps alpha in hearts you just go that route uh, okay, so that's four controls. So you've got to decide. Um, it's obvious that they've got two of the missing aces, Sanya. Um, it would be really nice if it was two particular ones. But you can find out to some extent by bidding... Uh, four diamonds so you can bid four diamonds now which is epsilon in diamonds First D1P2 of the night. Oh, come on, Esther. It's, we use... Yeah, a little bit like that. Well, all you have to remember is what you just typed. <laughs> Right, okay. I'll let you off. <laughs> well, it's easy enough. Esther wants to go five steps. 
two of them are taken up with redouble and pass, so she actually goes three steps. Very good. So Esther's got the ace of diamonds, but she hasn't got the king or the queen. because I finished off a bottle. That's why I brought the other bottle. No, you've, you're ostensibly 13 to 15, Esther, because you open one diamond and rebid two no trumps. And I think, I, I'll be honest, I would open one no trump. Uh, sorry, one diamond with the east hand here if I was playing the complex, because your intermediates are too good. Oh, scary, Sanya. So there's nothing wrong with one diamond on the east hand, I wouldn't have objected if you decided to open it one no trump. Um, it's just down to your evaluation of it. But all those tens and nines and eights make it a really, really, really nice 12 count, effectively like a 13 count. She suits, she scores! <laughs> well done, Sanya. Okay, um, just on the play here, um, I think I might have found out a little bit more about the hand before I made my commitment in clubs well you bid it <laughs> okay what I would have done I have to say um, I'd have been tempted to rough a diamond at trick two 
cross back to the Ten of Hearts, rough another diamond. Take the other heart trick. And play three rounds of spades, ending in dummy. And now you find out that you know that that North has got at least five diamonds for their double of four diamonds. And there's a, a reasonable chance that they also have the ace of clubs. Um, so I would take three rounds of spades, ending in dummy. So now you've eliminated all the black suits, sorry, all the clubs, uh, sorry, all of the spades and diamonds. And you also find out that uh, North started with three spades, two hearts, at least five clubs, uh, sorry, at least five diamonds, possibly six diamonds. So, A, they're more likely to have the ace of clubs, and B, it's more likely that South is going to have the jack, because they've got possibly more clubs than uh, North had. So nothing wrong with the way you played it. Um, I would have eliminated the diamonds and spades first just to find out a little bit more about the hand. There might be some other weird distribution happening. Well, okay. I, I mean, you can always you can always uh, draw all the trumps in two rounds, cross back to dummy with a spade, rough a diamond, cross back with a spade, rough a diamond, cash the, the spade, and then lead a club towards the queen, go up with the queen, if north ducks, and then take the finesse on the way back. Just a just a pointer. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the way you played it, as long as you guess right. <laughs> Anybody else got any questions or comments on the bidding? So we had three hearts Zeta over two no trumps. Um, the Zeta response showing four controls. Epsilon in diamonds. D1 P2 over the double, and then six hearts. Job sorted. Well done. Well, on that occasion, it wouldn't actually tell you that much. But, for example, if South showed out on the third spade, now you know that North has got five diamonds and five spades, and now you might well play South for the ace. Or certainly you would lead a small club towards the queen, come back to dummy and then finesse against south on the way back. See my point? Don't feel, guys, that you have to use one no trump. If you think it's right for alpha, then use alpha. I'm not saying it is or it isn't. But
Nothing wrong with two diamonds, Roger. Two diamonds is exactly right. So this is range beta. So it's like a normal beta, but all of the responses that actually show a number of controls are all upper range. And there's an extra first step that shows a lower range hand. So two spades here would show any lower range hand. Two no trumps is 0 to 2 max. And so on. One step too many, Roger. Three diamonds, not three hearts. That shows five controls, not four. Maybe. Still a bit of work to do here, Maisie. Absolutely. Uh, yes, Theta. You'll see now why maybe Alpha was a better route with the North Hand. Because you've ended up with a considerably more expensive sequence. Get the slide rule out, Roger. I think four no trumps is actually the right response. I think four no trumps, Roger. <laughs> I think five no trumps shows about two top honours with an eight card suit or something. <laughs> so five no trumps a little bit enthusiastic. <laughs> But what's a, round, what's a round of bidding between friends? No, four no trumps is right. 
So we now have hearts agreed. We know South has four controls. He must have the King of Hearts because he's shown you two top heart honours. Which means that you're missing an ace. No, KQXX is all on its own, May. There's no alternative holding for it. You know he's got exactly King Queen XX in hearts with that four no trump response. Of course it's correct. <laughs> well, I've only had one mug of coffee. So we know that South has got four controls, five diamonds, four hearts. Mm, yes, okay, Sonia. I don't really want to go back to the previous hand, but... Yeah, because none of you can see it now. I think essentially, Sanya, it's if, if Esther opened the previous hand with one no trump, it would go one no trump, three hearts. but probably you would stop in game um, because you know that she's 10 to 12. So slam is an outside chance. All right. something like that. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what. Uh -huh. Just lie. It doesn't, at the end of the day, mate, it doesn't really matter. The only issue, oh, in that case you need a void club. That's the only thing that's going to give you. So you should be asking in clubs, not in diamonds. A void club in the south hand with 445 naught shape is the only thing that will give you 
That's what I just said. No point asking in diamonds because you know she's got five of them. And it's overwhelmingly likely that she's got at least the ace in that suit. So if you're going to ask anything over four no trumps, it should be five clubs. And when they bid five spades, you know they've got a singleton there. And it's easy enough now. Really, Roger? Well, that's you. No chance in the US military then. Did I? I'm sorry, Roger. Like I said, no future for you in the US military. <laughs> so five clubs over four no trumps, no point asking anywhere else um, what controls South has in diamonds isn't actually going to tell you anything about what they have in clubs. The other thing you could do is to ask about spades. Because spades potentially is a worry. If partner has too small, for example, and something like the queen of clubs. If the spades aren't breaking favorably, you might struggle. Uh, I don't think there's any point playing this out. Um, the club loser is going to go away now. Oh. Right, okay. Right, just, just claim, May, there's no point playing this one out. Okay, do you all get the point here? Knowing there's an ace missing, no point asking in diamonds, because you know uh, South can't have a void there. The only place she can have a helpful void is if it's in clubs. Um, eighteen. Yeah, but I'm not quite sure what your message means, Sanya. Um, if you want to count South's hand as an 18 count, that's fine. Uh, but not when you're playing precision. Certainly not when you're playing OCP. I wouldn't object to South opening it one club, but that's a matter for them to decide. Sorry, to me, K and R is Koenigan and Ritchie, which is the Bible for C programming. <laughs> right, okay. Like I said, it, if, if South decides to open that one club, I'm not going to object to it. It's a matter for them to decide. Um, but it's their evaluation based on their thoughts about the hand rather than looking it up in some table in a book, I feel. Right, any questions about this? Next one.
So now two diamonds is range beater. Well, it's a matter of style. I mean, I treat I treat the one no trump response as game forcing. Um, that's not a suicide pact, however. Um, you know, you can make up plenty of hands where East has got a a one no trump response. You make a rebid like you have and show a minimum um, over uh, the two diamond range beta, where responder may actually decide that that they don't want, they don't want to play in three no trumps and five clubs is too high. Quite difficult to stop below game after a one no trump response though. Yeah, Sanya, don't forget you're now showing an upper range hand. which you don't have. Much better. Twelve high card points, Sonia. <coughs> um, Sonia, you've already shown the five card clubs. You need to look back at the lesson notes, Sanya. No, you should bid three diamonds, not three clubs. No, she hasn't.
Very good, well done. Five clubs is also making, but... Uh, Three no chump should be okay. Okay, well done, guys. Um, pragmatic decision to bid three clubs, three no trumps rather. Five clubs is also making probably. Um, In fact, you're going to make 11 tricks on this, I think, because you can get the hearts going before. Um, they clear the spades. So you're just going to lose a heart on a club. Any questions? So range beta, lower range really does mean 11 to it, it and it's within bear in mind it's within the range that you could possibly have so if you've ended up um, I don't know showing a 4432 shape hand um, then if at some point we use range beta then or, or even a uh, if, you, if we use range beta, then you're, you're going to be, depending on the vulnerability, either 11 to 12 or 13 to 15. So it's minimum or maximum within that range. So if you're known to be 13, then 13 is lower range and 15 is maximum. And a good or bad 14 is going to go into one of those. You take my point. So here, when Sanya rebids two clubs, she's 11 to 15. So 11 to a poor 13, you show as lower range. And a good 13 to 15, you show upper range. And you can shade that with distributional values and so on. But that's essentially how it should be. Okay. So here, Sanya has an unshapely... 12 count with nothing to redeem it so show it as lower range and again over the 2 no trump rebid by Esther there is a reason for all these rebids being the way that they are prescribed so if you were 3145 or 1345 you would, you would rebid 3 clubs because most of the time when you rebid, when you show the five card clubs, you will have a four card diamond suit or you will be semi balanced. If you are two two sorry, two three three five, then you would bid three no trumps over two no trumps. With three one four five or one three four five you bid three clubs because East might have a five card major and she can find out if you've got a fit for it. But over three diamonds where you're showing two, two, four, five shape, she knows there's no point unless she's got a good six card suit. Anybody else got any questions or comments? Anybody else want to sit? Malcolm? Charlene, Mehmet, Shirley, even, anybody. I didn't say you had to get up, May. Or are you off to make another cup of tea? I'll have a tea! <laughs> Hi. Well, somebody sit, please. Ooh.
John, I'm not sure this is going to be <laughs> your cup of tea. I don't know if you can hear me. Good. That's probably the sort of thing you'll be doing on whenever it is. Oh, now we've lost a West. Possibly. You might not want to though, Sanya. I don't want to force anybody who's Charlene, wow. Oh well. Well, he should have sat, Mehmet. Where has he gone? He's disappeared now. Okay. Maybe. Maisie, it's you to bed. Oh, you have. Esther. Alright, play this hand, Charlene. You can sit next time if you want, or... He can sit in, in place of somebody else. It's better for all of you to get a, a little bit of a flavour of how this thing works. Okay.
So now you, you've got to decide not to know Trumps, Charlene. That's alpha in hearts. Two hearts is, is range beta. What it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is, we treat the two diamond bid. Just imagine you'd open one club and Esther has bid two diamonds. That's essentially the sequence that we're now playing. And if you had opened one club, if you'd been the dealer and had opened one club, that's exactly what she would have responded, is two diamonds. Yeah, but not yet. She might be 5-4 or 5-5 five five in the minors, but you don't know. So two hearts is probably the next step, which is range beta. And that's exactly what the alert says. Range beta. Asking for range of the hand and level of controls. So maximum hand or upper range hand with four controls. No, it says any hand with five card diamonds. doesn't say anything about five to five. I'm looking at it. Well, it's up to you. Um... It's up to you to where you think, you know, she's showing an upper range hand, so you might have 31 points between the two hands. You know, you could bid, for example, a four clubs theta, or four diamonds gamma, or you could just bid three no trumps. Okay. Better to say upper range than max, Esther. More accurate, anyway, for the alert.
Okay, so so how else could West have bid this? After one diamond, one no trump, two diamonds. I'm not saying the way she's bid it is wrong. Uh, it's a pragmatic decision, but she's given up any chance of a slam um, when she bids three no trumps, and you could easily have a slam on here. No, it doesn't have to be... I wouldn't say it was definitely wrong. Your other options... I'm just trying to show the other way you could have bid the hand, Charlene, is over two diamonds you could have bid three clubs which would be theta. Now you get to the slam, for sure, because uh, East is going to go seven steps to show King Queen XX. So over three clubs they'd be bidding four hearts. Now four spades relay beta, and so on. Um, and your king of hearts and ace queen of spades are protected on the opening lead because you bid the clubs first so that's another way that you could bid it you know I, I, I say that two hearts is range beta that doesn't mean to say you have to use it ok um, in some respects three clubs and if you get a negative then four diamonds gamma might be a better way to go on the other hand if he showed up with an absolute rock bottom minimum three no trumps was was possibly the right place to play But once she bids three diamonds over two hearts, it's quite difficult because you're committing yourself to go past three no trumps when you don't know you've got a good fit. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments or worries or issues about the hand? Is somebody going to sit west? I'm not going to sit around all day waiting for somebody to sit. If nobody wants to sit, I'll sit. Of course you can. Take her in someone. Yeah. You take more. I took her sixteen. And you said she'll take more now until I let her 
really kidding, baby. I think they're playing. They're no, no, they're playing a hand. No. Sorry, it's, it's all. It's awkward because I. Nobody's nobody's saying anything, Naomi, apart from me. Well, no, not really. I'm talking, which you can hear anyway. They don't talk back. They type back. Three hearts is beta. Yep. Sorry. Why don't they get to talk as well? Because of the interface that I use here. It's one way only. Yeah, the trouble is that means using alert helper rather than chat assistant, and I really prefer chat assistant. Uh, no, Mehmet. Three diamonds showed support for spades and naught to three controls. Three hearts is beta, not range beta. So this is just not one, two, three, four, just weak range, weak scale beta. No, weak scale because you showed naught to three controls, Mehmet. Weak scale, not normal scale for beta. I know you're an intermediate, but you already showed naught to three controls with three diamonds. So we use the weak scale, even though you're intermediate. So four diamonds, Mehmet. Shows three controls exactly. Jesus. Oh, it's hard work. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Do 
Now do you want to be in six spades, Sanya? Oh, just claim it. Twelve tricks on top here. Okay. Um, well, I can sympathise with four spades here. Uh, no. So the way it goes, if you if you Bid one no trump, you can use the range beater. Um, Mehmet might have shown up a range. You'd certainly find out about the diamonds. And when you ask about spades, you're going to find out about the double fit. Now you might push a bit. Okay. Um, nothing else really to say. It's just down to, to uh, evaluation and the route that you choose here. Difficult to visualise it, and, and I'm not sure, Sanya, to be honest, that you've ever got the room to ask all the questions you want to ask. It does help if you bid one no trump and find out about the diamond fit. Ignore range beater and ask in spades, and then you, once you know about the double fit, you might push on to six. Um, But once you once you bid two spades alpha, I think you're struggling as it happens. But you can't be sure that that's the way it's going to be. Luck of the draw. It's going to be up. It's going to be up. Uh, it's not even inexperience. It's luck of the draw, Sonia. It's not, you know, you can't ever be sure that one particular way or another is going to be right. Um, I can sympathise with the route that you've taken and knowing we were missing four controls, I would probably have stopped because you need partners to have a very specific hand for six spades to be making. Unfortunately, he does have that very specific hand.
So, upper range and four controls for Roger. Wrong. How many controls did three diamonds show, May? Can't be four kings, can't be two aces, so it must be an ace and two kings. But you also know their upper range. So they will have some other stuff. Yep. You know, one of the kings is the king of diamonds. But that's only 12 points. Well, you got what you got.
Well, as it happens, they don't. But six diamonds is, I think, the right place to play this. Six diamonds or six no trumps. Probably six diamonds. Well done, guys. Um, you know, the point about stopping in six diamonds, even if you can find out about the stiff king, queen of hearts, you know, a 4-1 diamond split is probably going to scupper seven. Um... Yes, I know, because the diamonds are 3-2, <laughs> and you've got 13 tricks on top, but a 4-1 diamond split will stop 7, and you haven't got the room to find out that partner's got the stiff king, queen of hearts, rather than king X. If partner's got king X, six diamonds, six diamonds is quite quite enough now you're taking the finesse on a spade lead it's it's a six diamonds is horrible on a spade lead if partner's got king x of hearts you're forced into taking the heart finesse and uh, you've almost no chance for 12 unless it's right okay Anyway, um, well, I mean, there are chances for, for six, even even if um, you've got good possibilities for a double squeeze on a king of spade lead by uh, West. Um, take the ace of spades draw trumps in three rounds ace of clubs, king of clubs, rougher club run all the rest of the diamonds and you might get lucky alrighty um, I think six diamonds was absolutely right there It is. One more. You might be only waking up me, but it's about one o'clock in the morning for Mehmet, if not two. Indeed. What time is it uh, in Turkey, Mehmet? Is it two or one? Nightmare. Amazing. Oh yeah. Are they playing that in a minute? I think I'll be in my bed, but uh, good luck you guys.
That's right, there's somebody playing a match. So three diamonds is still gamma if Roger wants to. Or he could be two no trumps. Try and find a little bit more of a out about Norse hand by natural methods or semi natural. Oh, come on, May. You need to have another cup of, cup of tea, girl. And several bowls of porridge. early in the day for that isn't it May? For you? What is it, about 11am or something? Oh for me? Oh no. Actually Roger, four hearts is beta, is relay beta. It's inconvenient potentially, but yeah, 
four hearts is relay beta because of the uh, four diamond. The four diamond gamma. And you didn't get any number of controls to range beta because Maisie decided to show a minimum. Aha! I know you'd like this to be Epsilon, but unfortunately it isn't. No, you can have Epsilons afterwards, but four hearts is... Relay beta takes precedence over Epsilon. Mm. Nope. Normal scale. Because she's not, she's not denied a specific number of controls. She's shown a, a lower range hand. But she's still 11 to 15. Might have a bit of fruit. It is, I'm afraid, Roger. You're right. Wimp. <laughs> I think, I have to say, Maisie, I think you're to blame here. Well, I have to say, I have to say, over two hearts, I would have been showing an upper range hand with the north hand. I know it's a little bit quacky, but it's a six-card diamond suit, uh, and you've got the club shortage. Um, it's a nice, from my point of view, it's a nice 13 count, rather than a poor 13 count. Well, you know, we don't add points on as such, but I think it's, it just tips it into being a nice 13 count rather, you know, the points hang together quite well. Um, and uh, exactly. So, I mean, I, I would have I would have showed my controls over two hearts rather than bidding two spades, but it's up to you, you know. I think if, if Roger knew you were upper range, I think he would probably have, have plumped on the side of bidding six diamonds rather than five diamonds. He hasn't really got the room to ask any more questions is the only thing. But you've got ten controls between the two hands. Um, so you're only missing two. Uh, You pay your money, you take your choice. Okay, guys, well done. Um, I think next week we start on the multi-two diamonds. Um, bring your painkillers, please, next week. Um, this has been a very calm, easy week by comparison with what's coming next week. But it's a lot of fun. So uh, hopefully see you next Thursday and... Uh, don't forget to uh, look at the primers available and the videos available on uh, A-Bridge. Alrighty, night all. See you soon. Bye.